Oracle of Geminis. This is your reading for... Um, I just have super technical difficulties with these, so it's really going to throw me off. Anyways, this is your reading for October 2017 in regards to love. Uh, keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates and info are below, along with my email. Just send me an email. We can go ahead and set that up. I will be starting off with Alpha Gemini. So you are an Alpha Gemini if you consider yourself to be assertive, outgoing, and identify with masculine energies. Other things to mention, my 2018 Sun Moon readings are in my playlist um go check those out look up your sun moon reading and then check out what your behavioral traits are in addition to what your predictions are for 2018 doesn't matter when you see it when you view it is when you're meant to see it i also have my compatibility readings going up in my playlist they will be going up and they will be up until the end of time i'm doing them slowly but surely because we all go through relationships and are curious about compatibility i'm also on instant go um so they change their format a little bit. So just know that I do have my one answer to one question on there for a very reasonable price. And then I've added other services such as X reading, will we reconcile, career readings. So go check that on Insta out on Instant Go. And finally, I'm leaving a Vimeo link below for what your ex, not your ex, what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, or an ex. Okay. So Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, universe, can you please invite your truth, your clarity, your wisdom, your insight in regards to Alpha Gemini for love, October 2018. What are the energies, love energies they came out of? What are the love energies they, they can expect in October? And how will they be moving out of October into November? Please grant me the objectivity to read these cards. They're intended to be read and say your messages as you send the V said for Alpha Gemini's. And guys, also uh, keep in mind, I'm... I'm going to be posting videos now on Instagram, 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 and Facebook, and a lot of other social media, so check that out, okay? I'm also doing weeklies, okay? Weekly quickies, and I'm posting that on all social media, so just search for Veronica Garnett. Okay, so Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me previous energies that Gemini, Alpha Geminis came out of? Alpha Geminis, you have the three of imps in reversed. Can you please show me what are the energies, love energies they can expect in October? You can expect the strength card in the upright. I have two cameras going, so if one fails, the other one... So I'm just adjusting these so they're in both cameras because I've had too many videos quit on me. And how will Alpha Gemini be moving out of October into November? And we have a world card in the upright for you guys. Okay, so... Um, let me put these aside. I will pull, pull clarifiers as needed. Um, all right. So we start off with the three imps for you guys, it, it, but it's in reverse. So you guys are experiencing prior to October, 2018, October. Yes. October, 2018. You can tell I'm like so all over the place. So you guys are having setbacks. Um, a lot of times these setbacks are due to not thinking things over like you you should have okay so you know not paying attention to details not paying attention to red flags um, not having the foresight to see something uh, for some of you it might just be wasted efforts in regards to putting um, efforts into somebody and you know you guys are having communication problems also um, that's part of the wasted effort you're know, trying to get communication going it's not working out it's causing delays um, this is also can be um, a long distance relationship or having problems because you're somebody is very far away from you and that's putting a lot of strain on the relationship or it's putting a lot of strain on the relationship growing. OK, here we have the strength card in the upright, which is the card of Leo for some of you, if that resonates. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with a personality um, because the strength heart is very much about taming a beast, okay? But in this particular card, I'm not seeing that. I see that you guys are actually nurturing. You're caring for somebody. You're the caring person. Um, she's sitting here looking into his mouth. Um, she's looking into his mouth with, like, a tongue depressor. I'll show it on this camera, too, if I can. I can't do it on there. Um, tongue depressor. And he seems distressed. So for some of you, you could be in a relationship with or starting to get a relationship with somebody who is hurting, somebody who is distressed, somebody who is in pain. And you're trying to kind of figure out what's wrong with them or can you help them in some way to relieve them or to help them out. That's really what I'm getting from that strength card in October. Um, 
as you guys move out of October into November, we have the world card in the upright. So this is really about having learned all the lessons that you needed to learn. Um, some For some of you, yeah, it, it's completing like a cycle, but it's really about learning all the lessons that you needed to learn from this. And, and I really do feel like this here is some kind of experience that you're having where, you know, there were problems and then you're finding out that the person was really just hurting deep inside. So you kind of get that all figured out and then you end up wrapping it up, completing the cycle, getting to a really good place, like a sense of completion. For some of you that are in that long distance relationship that I was talking about here, you might travel to see this person or you might move to be closer to this person. Okay. Can you please provide clarification on the three of imps? Why is the three imps here for Alpha Geminis? Who is this person? What is this energy? What additional messages do you have for the three of imps in reverse? And for some of you, that three of imps can just be, you're having a really hard time, like delays meeting somebody. Um, and it might be because you live in a really rural sort of area. I'm getting like you live too far away to be or, or away from, you know, the hubbub to actually socialize, to connect with people. So that might be part of the setbacks of that three of wands there for those of you that are single. And they have the ten of clubs in reverse. Working on releasing these burdens that you have um, lightening up a little bit on yourself with that Ten of Clubs, um, telling yourself that, you know, you don't have to, you know, try so hard. You don't have to beat yourself up if things aren't going the way they are. Um, the Ten of Clubs in reverse is very much about, um, you know, like lightening up on yourself. It's also about learning to say no. Um, I wasn't getting that so much. I feel like you guys are lightening your load in regards to the expectations you had of yourselves, I feel like. The Seven of Cups in the Upright is about opportunities, so you may have a lot of opportunities available to you, but you have to choose wisely in regards to this. Seven of Hearts can be about a lot of options, but you have to look into it. Like again, be careful. This lack of foresight, this lack of detail, this lack of seeing red flags in regards to something could lead you into a relationship or with somebody who has commitment issues or with somebody who, you know, isn't able to connect with you on an intimate level. The ace of clubs or reverse indicates false start. Something that really didn't, maybe it seemed like at first something was going to get on the grip off the ground or you had all the all the hope that it would kind of get off of the ground and what happened as a result is it didn't quite happen like it, you wanted to it didn't it's not quite getting to where you want it to be or where you think it should be can you please write clarification on a strength card what is a strength card here in the upright for alpha gemini so is this person what is this energy additional messages for the strength card alpha gemini's why is this strength card here who is this person what is this energy that just I feel like those two just flipped right out of the back yeah you don't I think you're having a hard time figuring out what is wrong with a person um, why they're kind of behaving like they are and the ace of swords in reverse indicates to me you don't really have um, you're you're not having a breakthrough in regards to your relationship it's really confusing it's kind of like there's no direction there's clouds all around you you don't really have any clarity you're really confused you can't seem to formulate a plan in regards to this person i feel like you're and i feel like with this you're investigating to try to get more information like i said she's looking in the lion's mouth like she's studying him trying to figure out what is deep inside of him that's hurting um and the two of spades in reverse is about again mental confusion um sometimes it can be stuck in the middle but i just feel like you guys are not getting the information that you need i feel like for some of you you're having either problems in a relationship and you can't seem to figure out what it is in order to ascertain going about fixing it for others of you it just could be just in general having a really hard time connecting with somebody or finding somebody um and then we have the jack of hearts in reverse which is the disappointment so again we go back to the same thing we did with the seven of hearts somebody is having a problem committing they're afraid of commitment they're afraid of intimacy and um I feel you just trying to figure out why, kind of what's up with that. And you I, you should actually be careful not to scrutinize too much because I feel like in doing so, um, 
I move this over. I don't want it to be out of the other camera, but um, I feel like in doing so, it, you're encroaching a little bit. So make sure to give this person a lot of space, whoever they may be. That's one of the kind of messages I'm getting. Um, can you please provide clarification on the world card? Why is world card here? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the world card. Okay, so person, person, person. Card Alpha Gemini is please. Why is the world card here in the upright October going into November? Okay, we have the Jack of Clubs in the upright. Okay, so now I feel like once you have this closure, once you kind of complete this cycle, you learn everything you needed to learn, and you and you start moving on to a new cycle. It's going to be a very quick process because we have the Knight of clubs well the jack of clubs which is similar to the knight of clubs and this is about kind of pushing things through um you know he's very fast moving he pushes things through he sets aside his fear and he acts there's no kind of thinking same thing with the queen of wands things are going to move forward very quickly in november i said the queen of wands the queen of clubs things are going to move forward very quickly because the queen of clubs steps into her power she gets things going also between this jack of clubs and the queen of clubs it could very well be something very passion so the passion comes back there's a lot of flirting there's a lot of uh sexual chemistry deep romance um going on um because i think you unclogged whatever there was oh my gosh <laughs> Full steam. I've never had this happen before. So we have the Jack of Clubs, the Queen of Clubs, and the King of Clubs all in the upright. So after you guys finish this cycle of what's going on here, it is absolutely full steam ahead in regards to either finding somebody to be with in the love department or um, unclogging what was going on in a relationship. Again, the King of Clubs, a leader, sexual chemistry. And we have we have a couple here. We have two couples, either younger um well, whatever. There's couples all over the place, but this actually is a couple here. So, but the King of Wands is about he he moves things forward too. He's very determined. He's very motivated. He's very inspired. He's very passionate. So, you guys are going to get a lot of that moving into November. Whether you are um, in a relationship, whether you're seeking a new relationship, I feel like this is going to be coming in. But it's going to be after a period of kind of cleaning all of this up that's over here for you guys. Okay. All right, so I'm going to finish up with you Alpha Geminis. I'm going to move on to the betas. You're certainly more than welcome to stick around if you would like to do so. Um, keep in mind, same things I said. If this reading resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates and info are below. In my playlist, I have my 2018 Sun Moon readings and my compatibility readings. I'm on Instant Go. I just put a variety of services on there in addition to one quick answer to one quick question. And then uh, I will be leaving a Vimeo link for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, current, or ex. Check out my other social media too. I'm on I'm getting stuff up on inst Instagram, Instagram, and um, I'm reviving my Facebook page too. Okay, so check out those outlets. Otherwise, like I said, I'm going to move on to the Beta Gemini's. Hola, Beta Gemini's. This is your love reading for. Let me get these out of the way. Love reading for October 2018. If this reading resonates, please send a personal reading. My rates and info are below. In addition to my email, just send me an email. Other things I'd like to mention. My 2018 Sun Moon readings are in my playlist. Go look up what your Sun Moon signs are and check out your behavioral traits in addition to your predictions for 2018. When you see it is when you're meant to view it. Also, I'm putting the compatibility readings slowly but surely, and they will be up on YouTube from now until the end of time. I'm on Instant Go. They've reformatted it. Go check out all the services that I have on there. In addition to, if you need a quick answer to a quick question, a reasonable price, just look for Veronica Garnet on there. And then I will be leaving a Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, or an ex. Keep in mind, too, I've been I've just been putting stuff on Instagram and Facebook. I've been doing weeklies, so you can find my weeklies on there, my little weekly quickies for you guys. Right, so I will be starting with the Beta Gemini. If you're a Beta Gemini, if you uh, tend to think you're introverted, introspective, and identify with feminine energies, can you please provide the truth, your wisdom, your clarity for Beta Geminis for love, October 2018. Okay, can you please show me Beta Gemini's love influences they passed out of? What are the love influences they passed out of? You guys have the Knight of Ghosts in reverse. Can you please show me the love energies Beta Geminis can expect 
we have the two of imps in the upright and then moving forward into november we have the ace of bats in the upright okay so you guys start off with the knight of ghosts in the reverse i feel like there was there was a disappointment in love um it can be so you really had high expectations in regards to somebody you thought something was going to turn out or you thought somebody was a certain way but in fact they kind of their emotions were a little bit all over the place for some of you you might have been um in an abusive relationship um the the, the knight of ghosts usually um uses his emotions to try to get his way and he uses them in very negative ways so um he tends to blame people he gets moody he blows up when confronted um could be a little, a little bit manipulative as a lot of these the court cards in reverse are but the disappointment of kind of discovering how somebody was that they didn't have what it took in order to have a commitment or they just you know had issues with being intimate connecting um you know weren't there for the long haul that's what i'm kind of feeling you guys went through for some of you beta gemini's um here we here's the two of imps in the upright now this is the energies you can expect in October. The two of imps is kind of like waiting um, in regards on deciding what to do, okay? It's either, you know, kind of stick to the path you've been on because it's comfortable and it's familiar or go ahead and take a risk. And it's also about waiting for, you know, results to come in, waiting to see how things are going to pan out before you make this decision. Um, and I feel like it might be in regards to this person. You might just kind of be seeing, okay, well, how are they going to play themselves out? Are they going to change? They've said they've changed, so maybe I should kind of wait on that and see what kind of happens. Um, the thing is, with this card in particular, with this two of imps, um, the, the two are kind of like struggling. I feel like it's a power struggle. See how the guy, he's like picking them up by the scruff of their necks and putting them in separate corners. So I do think for some of you, I mean, you're trying to get to a bit better, better place, but I feel like there's a power struggle between you and another person, or maybe you guys have these little, these little petty arguments or what have you. They might not even be petty and you, you kind of have to get somebody to kind of intercede once in a while. Be like, Hey guys, you know, knock it off. Just kind of go to your separate corners. But that's what I'm kind of feeling. And, and you're kind of, you might be getting something from these arguments. Something might be coming out of them um, to clear things up. But I do feel like some nitpicking, some back and forth, some petty, you did this, you did that kind of stuff going on. Um, so we move into November here. So October going into November, we have the Ace of Bats. So as a result of this, this is a little bit similar to the Alpha reading too. I feel like you're having... Um, a, a new direction in regards to relationships. You have this, the Ace of Cups can be about having this incredible breakthrough and leaving behind how things were and kind of moving forward. This could be with this person or this could be singly. Some of you can be deciding, okay, I'm going to leave this behind. It's a very, it's very cathartic in that regard where you decide to cut somebody out because, and, and, and you just realize you need a totally new direction. You don't need to be doing this anymore and you carve a new path for yourself and you move forward victoriously. Um, triumphing over over the past struggles that you had. For others of you, you actually might be um, have a new direction in regards to your relationship. You might have a breakthrough in regards to your relationship. You might actually think about, okay, let's forget the past ways, the power struggles and the issues that you were having or I was having or whatever, and, and let's choose to move ahead in a totally different direction and see if we can turn this around is what I'm feeling for you guys. Can you please write clarification on the Knight of Ghosts? Why is the Knight of Ghosts here? Who is this person? Is this the additional messages for the Knight of Ghosts? What is this energy, please? Okay. Person, personality, perspective, person, personality. Knight of Ghosts, please, for Beta and Geminis. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Upright. The Three of Diamonds, sorry. I'm getting... I'm getting avoidance with the three of diamonds as though somebody doesn't want to deal with something so they work on a project they work on something that does fulfill them because maybe they're not so good in the relationship department we had the jack of clubs in reverse somebody's being stubborn new direction not being victorious okay so i feel like this person that we were talking about the one who has these issues they tend to have avoidance so when you sort of um yeah. try to 
get them on it or try to confront them on it. They, they, they're not good at dealing with emotions, but they're good at dealing with practical stuff. So like, for instance, like I, I saw this little cabinet here that, that was in here, you know, maybe like they, they go and they work on a hobby so that they don't have to talk about things. They don't want to talk about things. And with the Jack of clubs in reverse, that kind of says that too. They're just really like, they have avoidance of, of topics, anything that, it has to do with fixing the relationship or anything in regards to that. Um, I mean, if you're single, this could be you, you too, you avoiding this kind of stuff. And as a result, things aren't really getting anywhere because we have the six of clubs in reverse. And this is about, you know, um, retreat, not, not being victorious over something like this. Um, doubting that this is going to work out and somebody is doubting that something's going to work out because we have the joker card and this person is considering moving on to a new direction which could very well be you but i feel here it's just prior to october it was a consideration i don't feel like um any action was taking but somebody is thinking about it because you're getting nowhere with this person so you are actually considering perhaps starting something new a new journey singly that's what i'm kind of getting um can you please write a clarification on this two of imps? Why is this two of imps, imps here in the upright for beta Geminis? Who is this person? What's this energy? Additional messages. Two of imps, please, in the upright beta Geminis person. Why is the two of imps here? Who is this person? What is this energy? Okay, we had a ten of pentacles. So you guys are having problems at home. Um, a lot of arguments are going on. Somebody's feeling neglected to somebody's working too much. Maybe it's on this little project and kind of setting somebody aside and they're kind of feeling not so great. Home is not home anymore for this person. Even if it's not physically a house, what you had with this person is not what it once was. Okay. And someone wants to move on from this. Somebody wants to recover. We have the five of cups here. Somebody wants to end this because they're feeling so much pain and they just don't, they, they just don't feel alive in this relationship anymore. Um, so they just, they want to end this. They want to get out of it. They want to move on. They want to, they want to do what is going to make them feel fulfilled, make them feel alive again, alive, <laughs> alive again. Um, with three of cups in reverse, I feel like, um, Yeah, the Three of Cups in Reverse can be a lot about blocked creativity, trying to, to do things in different ways, or you were trying to do things in different ways to kind of turn this around, and you kept on hitting brick walls. So, you know, you're kind of over it, I feel like. Um, yeah, okay. So I, I do think that you guys have in the back of your mind, I feel like it's strongly it's you, I don't feel like it's other person, that you, you want to exit this relationship. Um, it's just not a very welcome environment. There's a lot of tension going on between the two of you. Can you please provide clarification on the Ace of Bats? Why is the Ace of Bats here? This is personal with this energy. Additional messages, please, for the Ace of Bats. Who is this person? What is this energy? The Ace of Bats, please. Okay. Person, personality, perspective, person, personality. Okay, so we have the Four of Hearts in reverse. Hmm. Guys want a new direction, but I don't feel like you're doing any action to make it happen. Rather than make the new direction occur, you're not doing anything at all. You're just kind of in limbo, repressing your feelings. You want a new direction. I don't feel like you guys are doing it, though. Six of diamonds in reverse because there's no reciprocity in this relationship. Somebody's doing a lot of the taking. Somebody feels lesser, but you aren't doing, you aren't doing any action. You have the clarity that you need to do a new direction, but you don't you don't want to implement that new direction. And you have given up with a seven of clubs in reverse, but you're not doing anything about it. I feel like you have the thought of leaving, the thought of going, the thought of pursuing somebody or something that is going to fulfill you. But these cards tell me you're really not doing anything about it physically. Um, it might be because this person makes you feel weak. And it might just be that it's too overwhelming for you to exit this right now for some reason. I mean, maybe you have, you know, a, a share a domicile with this person or, you know, you have kids together or what have you. And right now it just seems like it's, it's too much. You just don't want to kind of 
you don't want to kind of do anything about it because of that. So, but at least you have the answer. You know that you have to do it. I feel like you just don't know how to go about it is what I'm getting for you, Beta Geminis. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this reading. If it resonates, consider personal reading. My rates and info are below. Just send me an email. In my playlist, you'll see my 2018 Sun Moon readings and my compatibility readings. I put a lot of services on Instant. I added a lot of services on Instant Go, so go check out that app. And I still have my one quick answer to one quick question for you on there at a very reasonable price. I'm also on, check out my Facebook and my Instagram. I'm going to be putting my weekly readings up on there. In addition to here, and then I'm going to be putting a video link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, or an ex. Good luck to you, Beta Geminis. I will see you guys mid-month. You're mid-month. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.